Hello everyone and welcome back to Danielle's Desk. So today we are in my Creating and Co book journal. Um, I have gone back to my lavender uh, floating books um, cover from Creating and Co. There was a new one that came out that's been on there since the release. So what, that's been since what, last year? I think the end of last year, this is the other cover. She's only come out with two covers and this is the second one. This is the first one. Not a lot of people have these, um, but people grabbed these. So anyway, I have already gone back and I've already changed out my cover back into one of the older ones, which says magic on every page. I believe that I own all her covers and I believe that she's come out with three covers total. Don't quote me, but um, I will have a link uh, down below that will take you directly to Creating in Co's website. And I do have a code which is Freckle 10 and I will also have that listed below in case you want to uh, get 10% off of your order. So what we're going to do today is, is that we're going to decorate the covers for summertime uh, for June because I think June is summer. I don't I know technically I think we're still in spring. Summer hasn't actually began, but in my mind, June is summertime, especially in Texas where I am. So before I do that, let's do a quick flip through just so you can see where I am. It's been a while since I've shown this here on the channel. So let me show you. These are old die cuts that I had just on here as I flip, you know, change out my covers. They just stay here. I still haven't colored or decorated this page yet. These are my current five stars. So um, I they are up to date. Um, I do have one for the month of June, but I haven't added that to that yet. I've already filled up, I don't remember how many stars this was, but I've already filled them all up. So this was always pretty quick. I always fill this up like the first quarter of the year. Battle of the Books, I typically do like towards the last quarter of the year. And I've read pretty good so far. These are my top 10. And I've read Angel Maker. I've gave that one a three star. The Only Survivors, I gave three. Uh, Riley Sager is coming out in June. Hellbent, I gave four. Still haven't got to Mysteries of Thorn Manor. I'm really waiting on my library to get this in, and they haven't yet. That's I don't want to purchase it, so <laughs> that's why it's still here. It's been out. The Drift, I gave three star. The last word, I actually, I don't have my markers and stuff here. Let me see if I can kind of color this in a little bit. So I don't even remember what I gave it. Dang it. I think I gave this a three star. I'm going to go ahead and while I'm here, I don't have my black marker sitting here with me. It's actually on the side of my recliner. But while I'm here, I gave the last word three star. It wasn't the best that I've read by Taylor Adams, but I do recommend it. It wasn't horrible. I'm not going to give you any spoilers because it is a thriller. Um, and I don't have my little, my black marker to check off. I'm just kind of looking in my stash. I guess I could use, I'm going to use a, do I have a black one? I was going to use a Tombow. Let me see if this is black. A little dot. Yes, this is black. I'm going to use this uh, Tombow. It's not the one that I usually use, but it doesn't matter. And we will check this off as done. Um, and then what else do I have? I haven't read Silver Nitrate yet. I don't think that's out yet. The Kind Worth Saving, I gave three stars. As you can see, my top 10 are all like three stars. They're really not blowing me away. And Family Lore, I haven't read yet. I don't think that's out yet. But th I'm doing pretty good. So I only have one, two, three, four that are left of my top 10. I've already read six and it's halfway through the year. So that's that's pretty good. Here are my top book releases. So I just kind of think that this is like a continuation of this. Um, In the Lives of Puppets, I did read um, and I gave this a four star. Do I have a red? I don't think that I have a red up here. So we're just going to switch gears. And instead of 
doing red. Let's just stick with this color. I didn't even show the pen. This is a paper made in joy. This is what I use to mark in like um, all of my stars throughout here. So if you need a good pen, these are really good pens. So this was a four star. I love this. It was a little bit of a sci-fi kind of fantasy, more sci-fi in my opinion. Really good book. Love that one. Don't Fear the Reaper. I'm actually um, reading this month. This is the second book in um, this duo, duology. The Salt Grows Heavy is already out. I haven't read it. Again, I'm waiting on my library to get some of these like this one. Yellow Face, I'm waiting on the library to get that as well. The Drowning Woman, um, that comes out in the month of June. So I'm actually still doing really good in this section as well. So just kind of wanted to give you an update in case you want to take a screenshot. These are my anticipated books for 2023. Um, I haven't yet done, I've done Never Never, but I haven't filled this in. I don't know. I don't know why I always want to skip this. And I definitely haven't colored anything. Y'all know that I hate coloring. So anyway, I'll get to it. These are all of my books, uh, my bookshelves um, that I've read. I still need to fit, finish like for June. Um, I haven't put any June books thus far and I've read two already. So I finished um, Red Rain in May, so which I didn't like at all. Uh, I mean, I gave it a three star, but it was, or did I give it a two star? I think I gave it a two star. Um, here are my monthlies. Um, I think I've shown some of these before. Um, that's February. February is really cute. I did a Mardi Gras type thing. I don't use these functionally, so I just decorate them just so they can look pretty. This one is March and I have April. Look how cute April is with yellow and black. This is May. I did all bookish. I love this. This is my absolute favorite. Um, so these stickers are from Via Creations. I have her link, link below and a code if you're interested in some of the bookish stuff and I haven't done June yet so I plan on doing that actually this week so those are my uh, undated um, horizontal monthlies and again the scripts you can get from creating and co they're all from creating and co so um here is where it gets very scarce um I actually have I think somewhere like the second is it the second part of this or did I start? Yeah, okay. So this is all. This is the year thus far. As you can see, I have not hardly done any. Uh, this was the last spread that I did. And this is when we did the spring planning party. What I do like about it being undated is that I can pop in and out whenever I can. And for the last two months, I have been super busy. So I haven't had a lot of weeklies that I have decorated or anything. But that's okay. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I do make sure that my wrap-ups and my TBRs are done. So, and all of these you can find in the Creating Co. website. So here are my TBRs and I do check them off if I've read them. So um, this is, that's January. This is February. We have March. And we have April and then May. So I try to read at least 10 and then this is June. I've actually haven't even shown this over on um, Instagram yet because I haven't decorated my um, monthly yet. I usually don't show this until I decorate it. So I'm reading People We Meet on Vacation right now. Um, I have already read this one. And I have already read this one. So there we go. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. All right, perfect. All right, so that is that. And here are the new releases. So this is what I like, not all of the new releases, but what I'm interested in. This was for January. We have February and March, and we have April and May, and then I haven't even shown this on Instagram yet, but this is June. But I do this thing, so make sure that you follow me over on Instagram. I do this thing where I do my, I don't, I haven't named it yet, but my prep 
for my TBR prep. That's I guess what I can call it, my TBR prep. And I'm on Instagram and it's like a no piece of notebook paper and a pen, literally. And I write down the books that I carry over that I didn't read for the month. I write down my new releases that I'm interested in and I write down my 10 uh, books that I want to get to for the month. So I do sit down and do that and a lot of people um, love that. This is my reading wrap up. So this is January. I did 14 books. This is February. I did 15. So I, the first part of the year is always strong. March was 11 books. Um, six books for April. 10 books. This was a busy month. But May was also busy as well. But I did get to 10 books that month. And then, of course, we're here in June. Um, so, so far in January and February, I spent $51.50 on books. Um, and it looks like a lot of them are book of the month, either the book of the month or they are like yard sale type books or, you know, book fairs or things like that. And then I haven't totaled this up yet, but I've already spent quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit of money, um, you know, on books, but that's okay. Um, these are library books. I haven't put in my latest library books, but I do like to keep track of all of my library books. I do need to put the ones in that I purchased or that I checked out for um, last week. So I still need to do that. And then this is all my reading challenge sections. So, so far I'm doing pretty good on my reading royalty. Um, create, this is a creating and co book challenge. Doing pretty good on that um, so far. Um, this is my, this was Love Spell. I did this in February. This was a reading challenge I did on my own. And so was Forever and Always was one that I did on, on my own. This is the spring. I did complete this in full. Um, and this, I already got the summer one in here. So I have that one ready to go. Officially, I start this one this month, like I said. This is the alphabet. I'm doing very well with the alphabet um, challenge. This is Pop Sugar. I never do well with Pop Sugar, I'm going to be honest with you. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I still have a lot. I mean, I can fill in this one. I know um, some are really hard, I'm going to be honest with you. And I just read books and then I go and look at the prompts. I mean, you know, like I don't look at the prompts and like okay my tbr is built around that like i don't do that retro reads is one that we did obviously with creating and co these i participated in that here's my badges thus far i put the badge on there and then i check them as i go so um that's how i do that and then lastly this is something that i do um at the end of the year these are my book rewards so that is just giving you a little update on the book planner so let's go ahead and get everything going with my uh, with decorating so this video is not like super long because it wasn't intended to be so I pulled a few things um, I don't know which one I'm gonna go with but um, I like to go with a theme and it doesn't necessarily have to match what's around here so I always pull dashboards, I mostly from Creating & Co for this um, because they fit perfectly right into this one. So this is a dashboard that she did, what, a year or two ago, I can't remember. Every summer has a story. So this is one theme that I could go with. I also pulled this one where it says Sun's Out and it has like the little books, the sun and then the sandals and then it says, you know, Sun's Out, Books Out. That's also an option. I also pulled this one from a Sweet Kawaii Design. This one's old. It says, why are you all up in my grill? I think that this could go with either one of them, but I just thought it was a really cute summer theme. I also pulled some bookmarks, either to put in here or to use like for summer, you know? So I pulled these, I thought they could kind of correspond. And then um, I also pulled a bookmark to use. This one is from Doodleberry. I, also, I don't have a code with her, but I do have her linked below where you can get these really cute bookmarks. And I have a video that's kind of like displaying all of them if you're interested. So that is one thing that could go here. The second thing that I'm thinking about is this one. This one is extremely old from Creating Coast's Books and Barbecue Season. It is kind of like a lighter type pink and... Um, 
I pulled this Simply Gilded um, one. It's just Aloha Hawaii. And I just thought that that would kind of be really cute together. Pulled a couple of coordinating bookmarks to go with this one too. This one says every summer has a story. And then this one says I've got my head in the clouds. So I just thought that that kind of corresponds. And I did pull a bookmark that says I have no shelf control. And again, this is from Doodleberry. I just think it's so cute. So I'm actually leaning toward this one and not this one, which is kind of odd, but I just, I don't think that I've used this one. I know that I've used the other one before, but I'm really thinking about going with more of these softer colors in here. So I just thought that this would be kind of cute um, here. I just think that's cute. I also have this book pen that I want to use from Pen Paper and Plans. It says Eat, Sleep, Read, and Repeat. This is one of my newest um, ones from her. Um, and I do have a code for her shop, which is um, Daniel15. And I'll ha I have her listed below, but I just thought that would kind of be really cute. I really been wanting to use that. I just got it in. I'm actually gonna save this as a planner card. I may even use this, I don't know. I think that may be cute. I might even use it here in my decorations. Um, I'm trying to see if there's something else that I want to use. I had these also pulled too. I'm not sure if I want to use them or not. But they're also from Doodleberry. I just thought that they would kind of be cute just in here with the whole little doodles. And like I said, I had these. I'm not sure if I want to use these. I think it may be a little bit too much. But I just think that that's so cute. So I'm definitely going with something simple. Um, I can also pull a planner bow. So let me see what kind of planner bows I possibly want right, to so use. so I pulled some planner bows. So I think that we're going to go with this one. I just think it has like a whole Hawaiian theme. Um, I think this is a bow that's from Kubo and Lucy. It's very old. So I just think that's so cute. I love that. I love that. Um, and I have a place for a pin here and I didn't pull a pin. So let's pull a pin. Um, I have this one, which would really correspond with it. Great. I think that I'm going to go with this pin here. It has like the whole, um, you know, the colors and everything. I can get this in here. There we go. All right. So Let's perfect. See. Got that there. Cute. Um, so here on the little straps, um, I like to play something. So I have two things. So again, this is giving me all the summer vibes and I have this one that's coordinating with it. I do believe that this is from Kubo and Lucy again, uh, but don't quote me on it. But I don't want the string to hang down long. So we're just going to add that. Tell me that is not the cutest thing. And so I also want this to be seen as well. So we will let's take this out. Tell me that is not the cutest thing. Tell me you don't love this. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. All right. I am very happy with the summer setup. So cute. I love it. So thank you so much for joining me here at Danielle's Desk. If you enjoyed giving my uh, Creating & Co. V6 book journal just a little summer refresher, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.